After this video, I will probably have a minus 1 million ESG score, everybody, because you see, this one is not stopping. And of course, we have been covering this story very extensively, and this is truly insane as to what they just did once again. The drama is still ongoing. Like the video if you think there are two genders, dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. Now, for a minute now, we have been beefing, right? They added a BBC Samurai in the Japanese game or a game that's set in Japan disrespecting the entirety of Japan look at them like he's slicing all of them and they're buying down to him as well Bruh. absolutely crazy and they of course use the only black guy in the game and they turn him LGBT as well disrespecting the entirety of the black culture stereotyping the black homies as well I guess this is what happens when you let activists make your games and I mean think about it for a second the real Yasuke not the character in the game the real person the real Yasuke probably sitting in heaven and looking at what Ubisoft did and basically they turn him gay right it's insane he cannot come down here and defend it's like the same thing right you pass away tomorrow and Ubisoft makes a game on you and they turn you gay bro what what the actual hell what, what is going on bro leave, leave Yasuke alone bro but apparently this went down uh oh roll it more stuff keeps popping up with Assassin's Creed Shadows I really thought we were kind of done with this at least until the game came out I mean, what more could you say? I would think, based on the fact that there's only a couple of trailers out there, yeah, that we wouldn't Gaming. have anything to talk about, but oh no. Uh, things keep happening, and now there's an allegation, and it looks kind of legit, that Ubisoft is stealing artwork from other people for the game. <clears throat> I'm going to show you that in a second, but I wanted to show you some of the propaganda going on. Here's from The Gamer. Which I find this very funny and ironic, uh, considering how they went after Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah. Uh, but you see the headline. It's a good thing that Assassin's yeah. Creed Shadows is inspired by Ghost of Tsushima. Oh, that's a good game now. Well, now you like that game. These people had an absolute meltdown <laughs> over this game. It went insane yeah. over Ghost of Tsushima. It was insane, right? Because when Ghost of Tsushima was coming out, they were like really, really mad. I would like to believe that was actual racism because, yeah, a game set in Japan. Uh, yeah, how dare you add Japanese people in a game set in Japan? How dare you having a Japanese samurai? Bro, like, what the hell are we doing here? Now, listen, I'm probably not the only one that thinks this. DEI on paper does sound good. Oh. Hear me out. Diversity, inclusivity, equity, whatever bull, that bull squash that stands for, right? In general, everybody deserves equal rights, okay? And on paper, it does sound good. But ultimately, what these sickers are doing is they are excluding everybody. They want to have one group in it. They basically want reflection or a reflection of themselves in the games. But they're like, hey, no, we, we want equality. We want everybody, right? Nah, it's not that, bro. It, it is really not that. They want to just have one specific group. They want to have their clones. And they want to exclude everybody else. All of us. They want to exclude everybody. I, I like to believe that's racism. That is the real racism. It's made by white mans. They made this game. Should have been made by people in Japan. And it's funny because with this game, those complaints aren't even there. They don't care. Imagine if this was like Tom Cruise inspired. <laughs> if they made that last samurai movie into a game. They would be having a meltdown. All of them are hypocrites. But this is just funny to me because I covered that Ghost of Tsushima stuff because it was a trash fire. And now, oh, all of a sudden, uh, all of that's forgotten. Well, I haven't forgotten. Uh, you can find those videos very easily on my channel page by just searching Ghost of Tsushima. And there's a whole treasure trove of stuff that you can watch where they went crazy. They went insane. Mm -hmm. uh, they're banning mm -hmm. people left and right yeah. over yeah. on Reddit, I guess. Oh, uh, people yeah. that dislike the game in any way, or they point out the DEI stuff, they're banned. Get rid of them. Yeah. Gotta go. Because this game's amazing. We have to protect it. Have to protect it. Have to protect uh, They've been losing it. their minds over Elon Musk commenting on it. You got the executive producer. Uh, those of you that didn't know, I covered that not long ago uh, on the uh, in a video on the channel. Elon Musk literally said DEI kills art, and the producer, I believe, not not the producer, the executive, pro yeah, the executive producer, my bad. The executive producer then had a meltdown. He started talking about that he how he has like mindfulness app on his phone. Bruh that you know he have to now use to calm himself down because elon musk actually said dei kills art which i mean where are the lies for us to follow 
It literally does kill! It literally does kill art! Now, diversity, nobody's against diversity. Nobody is against female characters. We love the female characters. Recent example, prime example, let me pull this up, okay? Everybody love, uh, everybody love, I wonder why, man. Everybody, <laughs> everybody love Eve, I wonder why. Because she's an actual woman, looks like a woman, uh, is a woman. Yeah, people loved it. This is not a woman, right? This is a man that got cheeks pounded in 4K and they said, this is stunning, this is brave. Gamers are like, bro, like, this is not stunning and brave. This is like, what, what, this, uh, what, what is going on? And they're like, no, this is stunning, this is brave, we want that in the games. And of course, a lot of gamers are, and people in general, they're like, bro, what the hell is going on? Yeah, diversity is good, okay? But also have diversity of thought as well, which they got none of it, right? They want to believe in 5,000 genders? I say, perfectly fine. You want to believe that? Go for it. But can a brother also believe in, like, two different opinions, right? We, we, yeah, you, you guys can have some woke games. Yeah, for sure. Why not? Yeah, you can have some woke games. But, like, damn, why, why destroy a, a franchise that people love for the sake of it? Right? Like, this franchise used to be good. Yeah, right? A and now, you're literally destroying. I, I would like to also believe that you you are all about diversity, and equity, and inclusivity, because that's what you stand for. That's what you say. Why not have a Japanese protagonist in this game? Because it's set in Japan. Why not? Why? A and you know what? Also have Yasuke in the game as well. Yeah! You have Yasuke in the game, but of course, you want don't want to have a Japanese male protagonist, and also you want to turn him gay as well. Yeah talk about disrespecting the, the culture and on top you want to add hip-hop music hip-hop beat <laughs> insane it is insane so they're literally profiling and they're well, what's the term stereotyping yeah they're literally stereotyping and saying that yeah man you are black you must love the hip-hop music dog i'm brown i'm not black I love hip-hop music too. A lot of people love hip-hop music and a lot of people don't love hip-hop music. It's not even about that, right? For example, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, yo, that beat was hot. They added that, it was hip-hop, loved it. Because why? Setting. The setting makes sense. They did it. Miles is a good character. Nobody got mad. Everybody loved it. Everybody loved it, right? Simple as that. But this time, we're talking about feudal Japan. It's a, it's a setting. So, of course, people are going to question it. And, and when you do all of this crap, then, of course, people are going to talk about it and criticize it. And that's exactly what's going on. Uh, and, and it is truly insane that now we're finding out that the same games that they criticize, for example, uh, in, this, uh, in this example, it's Ghost of Tsushima, the same games that they're criticizing, those are the same games that they're stealing from, but making a piss poor version out of it. Ghost of Tsushima, I mean, received like what, like so much praise. I, I wonder why. I, I wonder why. And it had Asian, Asian protagonist, Asian protagonist, and the game was set in Japan as well. Oh yeah, right? Like holy crap. Yeah, like it, it received so many awards. Why? Because they made a good damn game. Gamers don't care whether it's black, uh, protagonist, white, Japanese, Asian, brown. Bl purple protagonist nah none of that matters bro none of that really matters dog we just play games that are good and, and we play games with people that are cool regardless of their gender ethnicity race uh their status whether they're straight or not bruh like dog like what what are we doing here it's all about the quality of an individual and the, the quality of the time that you're gonna spend with that individual rather than you shoving all of these politics down my throat and down other people's throat what are we doing here? You are saying that you don't want to divide people, but ultimately you are dividing everyone. You're dividing all of us here, okay? Yeah, that's exactly what you're doing. You you say that you don't want to divide, but you're dividing everyone. Saying that it made him feel uh, sad. He was hurt when Elon Musk was feeding hatred. He didn't even say much. I think he just had like an exclamation mark tweet. They don't even have it on here, but I remember when that happened. But here's yeah. the real shit. Uh oh. So Grums posted this the other day. Here's the banner that Ubisoft stole from this Rifle Corp. This is like, so what this is, it's like a reenactment thing that I guess people do over in Japan. And I, and I, that's not surprising to me. Okay. Uh, so over here in America, there's these clubs and these groups that like reenact civil war fights. Yeah. And they have people and they go all out with these replica guns and outfits and they reenact battles from civil war. That's what this looks like to me. Kind of the same thing. And if you look at this, here's the banner, the original banner to the left, and here's the banner on the right that's in the game. What? Wait, what? This comes whoa, from whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and here's, here's the banner, the original banner to the left, and here's the banner on the right that's in the game. 
Now, this comes from a YouTube video in Japan that covers Japanese people are not happy about this game, and they are going after it. Okay, it's the but same. But this is okay. very interesting. If you it's look at it, it's the same damn thing. Yeah. We got some more info over here. Assassin's Creed can't catch a break in Japan. Japanese reenactment group. The, uh, uh, well, there's the name. I would just oh, brutalize man. it. Uh, but they oh man the japanese homies they are like all over it they're like nah bro how dare you destroy my culture like that how dare you do that this is insane bro this is imagine right you make a game where you, it, it's set in your country and then ultimately somebody else is like destroying your people meanwhile those people are like bowing down to you hip-hop beat is playing okay forget about the hip-hop beat in this context but but yeah right and we're, we're not talking about like uh, a mo modern day or th this game is not futuristic if this game was modern day or futuristic then it would be a different story altogether then there wouldn't be that this much backlash for sure uh but some people would still be like okay so the game is set in japan uh right like why not have a japanese male protagonist i i think this thing would have still be, be there even if the game was set in modern day set if the game had modern day setting or futuristic setting uh people would still be talking about it but it wouldn't be you know too much i i think it would be like water under, under the bridge and yeah it's whatever but the fact that it is it is feudal japan and all of these things they add up right because of course ubisoft is one of those companies that was like okay you know we, we cannot have a crossbow in this game because it is not historically accurate talk about that and then talk about this what is going on man of course people are gonna talk about it man like it's they claim that ubisoft stole their banner symbol and they're thinking about suing them Oh, crap. Comment section is oh, filled shit. with displeasure with Ubisoft, claiming the game was historical, then flipping to fiction when called out. Yeah. Uh, but here's the stuff. So this is that group right there. And here's them with their banners. It's the same banner. Oh, they stole that banner? Let's see okay. if we get a good picture of it in the game. Yeah, well, here's here's the same one. Y you know, Ubisoft is probably going to use the, the their, their protagonist in the game to kill the, the person that was holding the banner in game. They're, w wait for it. They're probably going to do that. One. But yeah, it, just demolish the entire Japanese culture is what Ubisoft said. It looks pretty legit to me. What's going on here? This the same. It's the same symbols, colors, patterns, <sighs> and you know this isn't isolated <sighs> to Ubisoft. They go and do this shit and think they can get away with it because these groups are small and nobody covers covers this stuff. Disney has a big history of doing this, especially in Star Wars, of just stealing fan made shit. Yeah. Now that's a little bit different because at the end of the day, and I don't they like that right? either, but. Uh, they, they can credit and say that and then it would be fine and uh, also like ask uh, the, their permission because we're talking about a company we're, we're talking about a company here they can ask ask for permission or and pay money or, and credit them and I think it's it would be Disney fine outright own Star Wars everything Star Wars is them fan made stuff I mean technically legally you would have to talk to a lawyer but they're probably I, that seems a little bit more gray this is different this is <laughs> Ubisoft doesn't own Japanese banners and shit so if this is true, here's the full link that he's got posted here. Uh-oh. I heard a little bit about it, but it seems that the rifle corpse was used as a background for the concept art for Assassin's Creed Shadow. I actually took a look at it, and when I zoomed in, I can definitely see the black flag that we use. Honestly, I'm not sure how to react. So this is somebody that's actually in that group, and he okay. posts. It's tough to say how accurate this is because of translation, but yeah. I believe yeah, yeah. it. And it looks like they are stealing it, and they should be ashamed of themselves. It's lazy. Like this entire game, so it, it it is insane as to what's going on with this game, bro. Like there's so much stuff that's wrong with it, and, and it's insane. And of course, the backlash is also also insane. I guess the bigger they are, the the harder they fall. I, I think it's true in this case. We'll see what happens. I hope they sue them. I hope they sue them. And I don't think they will. I hope they will. Uh, yeah, I hope they do, but I don't think they will because we're talking about Japanese people, bro. If this was in America. Then yeah, I, I mean in America you can get sued for literally farting in the wrong direction. And, and, and you know what? I, I went to Miami, bro. The amount of advertisements I saw on the road, insane. Oh, you got in an accident? Call me. Oh, you want to get uh, sue somebody? Call me. Here's my number. Man, the amount of ads that I saw of lawyers in America, and I've only been to Los Angeles and Miami, right? Miami for the first time just last week, right? Insane. Totally insane. And listen, I, I like it. I, I like it. <laughs> yeah, oh shit, like somebody farted on me. Hey, officer, somebody farted me uh, in the wrong direction. Call the lawyer. Okay, officer, thank you. I'll call the lawyer. 
doody doody doo. Drr, drr, brr, brr. Hey man, listen, somebody farted on me and it was wrong direction. Oh man, come to the office, come to the office right now. Pay me money and I'll win the case for you and then you get a million dollars, bro. Then you get a million dollars. Do you not want a million dollars? Do you not want exactly my point, bro? Like, I love it, man. America's the best, bro. America, America, if you. But, but here's the thing, though. Like, th th we're talking about J Japanese people. I don't think they're gonna sue, though. You feel what I'm saying? I don't think they will. But should they? Let me know your thoughts. Win. Don't steal from these people. They should be ashamed of themselves. Is it really that hard to make a banner and put uh, some symbols on it? You had to go and steal these people's banner? disgusting the immersion they wanted to make it historically accurate you know what i'm saying my ass of course historically accurate my ass but i guess uh, with this uh, poster they wanted to make it very very accurate actually you know pay them give them some money they probably wouldn't even want that much i bet you if you just gave them a couple of bucks and credited the banner and gave yeah. them this promotion in the game you could probably even do it in, re in the credits yeah guys check out this video on the screen because we recently done like the last episode of this and apparently it is not going well for them. A lot of Japanese people are calling them out and we got receipts. Yeah, check out this video on the screen. It's going viral and I'll see you right there. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left.